Hi, I'm Brandon Bennett. I'm from Indiana. I met Steve through a similar friend. His name is Mike Adams, who uh, gave me a copy of one of the Migo documentaries, and uh, I found it to be very inspirational. Uh, really, for an, an amateur filmmaker, it, it really goes into depth about the hardships of trying to do a film on your own and dealing with uh, different companies to release your uh, your films and uh, how they can really fuck you uh, and fuck you out of money uh, and promotional stuff. Um, so uh, after I watched that, I, I watched Firecracker and I found it to be one of the most amazing movies I'd seen in a long time. I, I sat for almost an hour and a half afterwards in the dark just thinking about what I had seen. I had never seen in a film quite like that. Uh, Karen Black and Mike Patton's both dual roles I found to be very, very interesting and in a, in a, in a new idea. And so I sent uh, Steve a message telling him how much I appreciated both the, the documentary and Firecracker. And he corresponded back with me saying that if I was interested that he'd more than be more than happy to have me come visit one of his sets. Uh, and, and that if I was interested that I could come help out on his new film, which is the film we are working on right now. And so he also asked me if I would be interested in doing these video blogs. And I was like, yeah, I might as well. <laughs> Nothing else. Yeah, it's something extra to do. Yeah. So. I hate when they would compare Steve to, like, Hitchcock, uh, Lynch. Lynch. It's, I don't know, especially with Firecracker, they did that a lot. I noticed that a lot. And I know. You know, it's funny, because now that I kind of backtracked a little and started watching all of his films from Pep Squad to Watch Out, um... He each has, has their own, own style. Each, yeah, no, but the fight thing is, even today, when I was like standing there, looking behind, you know, sitting beside him, and looking at what he was filming exactly, he really has his own style. Mm -hmm. And I mean, even if you guys saw what I was seeing, you would say the same thing. Oh yeah, it looks like a Steve Balderson yeah. movie. Mm -hmm. so. You know, that might be a good question to ask Karen. That would be um, awesome. Since she has worked for Hitchcock. Yeah. Oh yeah. If she feels that, right. that it's it's Hitchcock. Actually, or, or I, something say, I think in the interview she did kind of ref compare the two, but not exactly. I think what it is is, is is people have a tendency to think of just a handful of, of filmmakers that they know, and they automatically, you know, David Lynch, Hitchcock are two kind of out there filmmakers, so automatically he gets labeled with those, those, those two filmmakers right. because there's nothing else like that. And since, you know, a lot of the... A lot of the general public don't watch indie films or, or don't know foreign directors even. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's kind of what happens with, with, with Steve's work. No one knows who Steve is really. Still. No. I mean, so, like, I mean... And that's what makes him great. Well, yeah, I mean, because he's definitely not a part of the mainstream. Uh, he is definitely under the radar. Mm -hmm. And, you know, again, and to quote someone else from our Amigo Ultimatum, I mean, he's definitely outside the Hollywood scene. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I like the way he, how he is now, his style, and I don't think, and I think he agrees, I mean, even this production, I mean, it's not as high, you know, big budget as Firecracker, yeah. but I, this is going to be a great movie, I'm yeah, really think, anxious to see the final product. I think we're all excited to are. work on this, yeah. to see the finished product. And I think it goes a long way, I mean, obviously Karen Black certainly, certainly has got 170 movies under her belt for yeah. her, I mean, she has enough faith and respect to Steve to be doing this, I mean, and so she, this being her second film with him, this, so. her second, as well as um, we've got Susan Trailer, um, mm -hmm. Jane Weedland, Betty O, Starina, Mick Stoll, who I'm Mick very Stoll. excited about seeing, Pleasant, Pleasant, of course, so, Jane, Stacy stars Stacey. here, yes, Stacy, Jane Weedland, yeah, we're in the show, so it's uh, I mean, I guess we will we'll be updating you yes. every few days on what's our status. We will be so right now, once a week, I believe. So, yeah. Is yeah. it going to be once a week? Once a week. Oh, we have to do it more than once a week. Yeah, I think so. Well, we're doing we one do of these every day. Okay. So, okay. Whatever that equals out to. So. I guess we should probably end this before it gets too long. So, yeah. thanks everybody out there. Thanks. Steve. Thank you. Yes.